Luis Francisco Ustez, Pa Omen Ewan. Primeramente, saludos y respetos going out to everyone, man. Like today, I want to talk about probation. Probation. So, look, there's a bill that passed recently. It's, it was put into effect uh, within the last month, and it's called AB 1950. AB 1950. It shortens the length of probation in most misdemeanors to one year. In most felony cases, to two years. So basically what this does, right? <clears throat> for, for a lot of people that don't know probation, parole, all that, it just keeps you. It keeps you. That's like what holds you back from succeeding, from rehabilitation, from just becoming a better person, bro. Because these people, they're always on you. They're always on you. Uh, they're raiding your house. Like, it, it's just, if you ain't never been on probation or parole, like, <clears throat> the level of disrespect is always there. They always make you feel like you're less than a human. Like, yeah, I get it. Granted, like, you did a crime. You got convicted of a crime. That's fine. I mean... If if you paid your debt with society, you did your, your time, why do they want to keep you on probation or parole? I never understood, right? So I'm pretty sure their intentions were good at first. But I feel like now it's all about money. <clears throat> so I'm going to let you know my story and why I think it's... I am pretty much was looking for it, but I think it was unfair. Like, you're taking years... Like, so when I first got on parole, every gang association or or major rule violation, which they call it a, a parole violations, they will take your freedom for up to one year, right? So um, one year, just imagine one year for a violation. So you could be at the store and a homie pulls up and I see me. I literally see me with my own eyes. People pull up, they shake your hand, pff, violation. The cops seeing you, they pull you over. You know what I mean? A year. Now you got to go back to prison. They're going to put you, myself, a couple violations, at least one violation. They put me in a level 4 180 maximum security. That's like top of the line right here. Like it, it won't get no more dangerous than that. Level 4 180. Okay. On a violation. So I get caught with. Uh, for a gang association. Gang terms. They sent me there. Okay. So now that's one thing right. Parole used to last four years. Now they say it lasts three. Right now what I'm doing. I've been on parole for three years. And going on two months. Like, like three years and a month. So and then I still have a few more months to, to discharge, right? But back then, you stay on parole. Like, you violate, and if you violate for a year, they add that to your sentence, to your parole extension, and they keep you for four years on parole. So you could do four years of your life just on violations. And that's that used to happen a lot. People used to go to law school every year. So you could never reform Where's the help? Where is the help? You're going to get busted for something petty, bro. Hanging out with gang members is, I mean, it's not recommended, but it's not the end of the world. Like Most of the time, you're not even doing crimes, bro. Because most of the times, it's people that you grew up with. And I'm just being honest, you know? I'm just keeping it real. So, um, now, um, I understand, you know, you, you get arrested for a firearm, you get arrested for a new crime. Yeah, take them to jail. But you're going to take people's freedoms for a whole year just on a rule violation? I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair. I don't care what anyone says, you know. So anyways, <clears throat> like I said, you know, I got on parole. I kept on doing violations. I caught new cases before I got off parole. So... I, I, I've been on parole since 2006. That's the first time I got out of prison. So since 2006 up until now, I've been on parole. I've been a parolee. 
You know what I mean? So I went in in 2005. So, I mean, you could tell me mostly anything that could happen to a parolee and it probably happened to me. Like, I've been pulled back for other cases, misdemeanors, you know what I mean? Uh, I've been um, given violations for open containers, for weapons, for firearms, for... I've, I've been given tickets for for loud music, refusing to sign, uh, music videos, like, are you serious on music videos, you know? They say when they arrest you, right? They say it's a, <clears throat> you're a threat to the public safety, right? So if you're making a, a music video for entertainment purposes only, you know, like how is that a threat to the public safety? But they say that maybe, you know, if you're throwing up your hood or whatnot, you're promoting a gang. And I get that, you know, now I get that. But at the same time, I don't feel like you should do three months in jail. Like. So let me tell you what happens when someone goes to jail. Someone like me gets out. Uh, career criminal, always in prison. Finally got out at the age of 32, trying to do good. You get a job. I've been working, I get a room. Everything's going smooth. Now they gave me for a, for a music video. Now I lose my room, I lose my job. Now I gotta come out three months later and start all over with no money, no nothing. That's where, that's where a lot of people just give up, you know, and they, they go homeless, you know? Uh, if you don't have a support system or if you're not strongly trying to do this, you're not gonna succeed, bro, you know? So you, you, you're out here again, you get a job, you get violated, you lose your job, you lose your room. See? Now, now I've been able to uh, maintain a, a little studio because I've been out for a whole year. Uh, matter of fact, um, in February, it's going to be a year that I've been out. You know, so, I mean, I'm already going to get off parole, so it really doesn't matter. But for those that are still on parole, for those that are still on probation, this laws, man, they need to change. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy to announce... I'm very, very happy to announce that AB 1950 changed that. It changed that. You no longer have to do three years on probation for a misdemeanor. Or, you know, three years on pro felony probation for, for a felony. Most felonies and most misdemeanors. Not all of them. Uh, I couldn't find the link, so I don't know exactly which ones. Um are the ones that are going to be just one year or which ones I'm pretty sure they're going to be considered like violent, violent uh, offenses. Those are probably going to be the ones that are a little longer on parole or whatnot, you know, or probation, excuse me, not parole, probably. I don't even know if this applies to parole because I'm still on it and I've been on it for three years. So, you know, but with that being said, I'll say, you know what, check it out. One more thing before I go, strikes. Gang enhancements become strikes. Therefore, if me, myself, I have two strikes just on gang enhancements. So if one day, you know, legislation comes through, gets rid of the gang enhancements, phew, I'm gonna have no strikes and I'm gonna be a better man out here. Thank you very much.